So we are going to solve very interesting problem, jump game. But this is the part third. You have already seen the two more episode, previous episode. But the same problem, what I'm going to explain, we have already solved with the help of the recursion. So please visit this video. I have explained already. In this video, we are going to solve this problem with the DFS. Let me explain what is the problem here. So you have been given this array. Suppose this array name is the nums. And this time you have to start index fifth. If you see the previous uh, jump game, we always start from the index zero. But in this uh, uh, problems, you have been given that you have to start your jumping from the index five. So this is the one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have to start from here. So condition is that suppose this is the i is equal to 5, index is equal to 5. So what you have to do, u i minus plus nums i. That much you can jump, either plus, either minus. So if you see here, 5 plus minus, what is the value of this one? 1. So you can jump either 4 or 6. Right? So from here, either you can come on the 4 index or the 6 index that you can do that. Again from here, so index is 4 minus plus 3, this is the 3 value. So you can jump either 1 or 7. We don't have the index 7, so this is ruled out the index 1. So you can come from index here, right. And again if you see from here, this part, this index is 1 minus plus 2. So either you can 1 minus 2, minus 1 or 3 we don't have the minus one so it is ruled out so we can go the three index and three index that we have the value zero means question is that if you have if i will give you the starting point could you able to reach the element we have the value is zero or not so in this case if you see if you go from five then we come from the four then we come to the from five we came through the 4 index, from 4 index we came in the 1 index and from 1 index we can go the 3 index. So, so we could able to reach the 0 index. So that you have to find out whether it is possible or not. If it is possible, we turn the true. If it is not possible, we turn the false. So how you are going to solve this, uh, how you are going to solve these uh, uh, things. So let me uh, um, first explain. If you see this is the graph problem actually. So how you will do that? If we starting the 5 position, right? So if you see here, just uh, I am illustrating in the form of the graph so it will be easy for you. So suppose if you are in the 5th position, right? So index is the 5th, value is equal to 1, right? Plus minus 1. So, so 5 plus 1, right? So you can go the 4 index and we can come the 6 index, right? So what is the 4 index value? 3. So we can plus minus 3 and 6 value plus minus 2, right? From here, you can come either 4 minus 3, 1 index or 4 plus 3, 7 index. 7 index we don't have, we would out. Index 1 value is equal to 2. So from here, we can 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1. So minus 1 index we don't have because we have the minimum index 0. So this is the root out. Otherwise 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And if you reach the 3, we got the value 0. So that means we have already reached our destination because we were searching for the 0 element index. Right? So we reach out. The same way if you just want to continue from here, you can go the 6 minus 2, 4 and 6 plus 2, 8. 8 index we don't have. Right, and four index value is equal to three. So it will again continue uh, this loop, right? Whatever you have done, again it will be the continue. So how you can solve the problem, right? So I want to go for the DFS means I will come here, 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 then again here and here. If any point of time, if I get my uh, requirement index, I will stop the loop. So what I will do, we can take one Q data structure as a Q. So suppose this is your Q and Q name is equal to Q. So first you in Q you add a starting point. So what is the starting point given 5. So if this is the Q put the 
this one and that loop will be executed till this queue is empty we will do that activity till this queue is empty so right now this queue has one element this is not the empty so the condition is true and you can take out this queue q dot pool so now the i is equal to 5 right so index 5 you have to see the three condition all the three conditions should be fulfilled what condition your index should not be less than the zero no your index should not be more than the six no and that index should not be visited how you can see whether this is visited or not whenever i visit the element i will make that element negative so next time i should not visit it so these three conditions one condition this one condition this two condition and this visited condition right this visited condition so you have to uh, check all these three conditions when you get the index so how you will check it so simple this i always should greater than zero always equal zero and greater than zero and i always should less than the n n is equal to nums length and this should not be negative if negative means this is already visited that i will show you so nums i always greater than zero is not not negative if this is the condition if all three condition is satisfied then check if that element value is zero or not so check if nums i is equal to zero means i reach the my destination then 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 there itself we turn the true if it is not zero then mark it visited because we have already visited the element if i came here already visited make it minus how you will make it minus simple num i is equal to minus num i so this part is done so 5 was there i took the 5 when you took the 5 this is the empty i is equal to 5 i took the 5 now right is empty i done that this 5 is not the 0 and i mark this 5 as a visited next time this should go here or here right so i will call the same method suppose this method name is the can reach suppose and passing the int nums and starting point right so i will call the same method oh sorry so what i will do that so now this part is done right so we have already visited this part so what i will do next time i will i have to come here right this part and the this part right then this part into the x part so i will push these two element in the queue so my queue dot add what i have to add this time this time you have to pass this plus minus one means that means what you have to do we have to i plus nums i and i have to add i minus nums i okay and then method is done method is done if you visit all the element if it is not able to find out anything we return the false right so again check whether it is working or not so first time i put the index 5 because we start the 5 i took it 5 cut it i is equal to 5 5 is greater than 0 5 is less than the 6 and 5 is not visited right time so now we came here 5 is 0 not make it negative i make it negative and the q add the which one four number and six number so in the here this is the four and this is the six again go back he will pull he will pull the four four element this is the four and check this element four is less than zero greater than uh, less than greater more than zero less than six and this is not visited 
So, and this is not the zero, then make it visited. And next time for this four element, we have the one and the seven. So now put the one and the seven. This way it will go. Again, we will come out here, and this time we put the six. Now come the six here. This condition is satisfied, greater than zero and the uh, less than the seven, right? Because n is equal to here n is equal to 7, the length is the 7, right? This condition is satisfied, then is it 0 value? No, mark it visit, visited. And then from 6, we have the two option, this is the 4 and this is the 8, right? So we will, eight, we will add the 4 and 8. But next time, 8 would be the discard because that will not satisfy this condition. Right. And this is the way we work that we will see in the code how it works. Right? Thank you very much. Of element means what how many uh, what is the length of array? So what I will do? Nums dot length, right? Then then we have to take one q, right? As we discuss on whiteboard. So take one q and q uh, should take keep means contain the integer and we can take the ring list as according to Java, right? Okay, now what we will do first, Q, we will add the element start, right? And then we have to run the loop till Q is not empty, right? Q is, method is there empty. Once enter here, we will first take out the element Q dot three conditions whether i should always greater than equal to 0 and i should always less than the n number of arrays and it should not visited. So how have we check the visited or not? Because once you visited making the element as a negative. So this time we have to check this should not be visited. If this is visited element is the negative and we will not come to the if condition. So we have to check non-vegetated. Non-vegetated means always the positive element. So here what I have to check, check if suppose those elements, the index is there, if this is the zero, what I am searching, then immediate return the true, right? Then we will not do anything. But if it is not the case, then make those element as a vegetated. So I will do that. I just make it minus vegetated and then Pass the both element in the queue as we discuss. So add i plus nums i and again q minus q add the same value i minus nums i. Right. So visit all the element. If it is not able to get it, then what I will do after return the y, I will return the false because we could not able to get the zero element. Let me run this code. Check this condition properly, this important condition is working fine. Let me submit this code. So it's working fine, but it took the 37 minute. In the previous video, I have explained how you will use the recursion and that took the 4 milliseconds. So both options you have right now. Thank you very much.